Aditya L1. Aditya L1 is basically a solar observatory that is being placed in a particular point known as L1 in the orbit. Namaskar, welcome to Plutus IS. Myself Vikas Gupta, a faculty of PSIR and current affairs in Plutus IS. Today we have brought another video on another adventure that ISRO is taking on that is Aditya L1. Aditya L1 is basically a solar observatory that is being placed in a particular point known as L1 in the orbit. So basically Aditya L1 is observatory. It has some equipments, particularly seven payloads that will observe sun, its coronal discharge, nuclear activity that impacts the entire solar system particularly. And understand this, we are not reaching to the sun. Reaching to the sun is different thing. No one can reach to the sun. The heat there will melt anything down. It is not the moon where you can reach. So we are reaching a point near to the sun to observe the sun perennially. That is L1. So what is L1? It is based on the name of French mathematician J.L. Langrange. That's why the word Langrange and one means the point number one. There are five Langrange points here. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Every point provide different uh, advantages, different disadvantages. L1 in particular is between Earth and the Sun and so it provides a point of vantage where we can use directly to see the Sun. Having said that, why the, this point is significant? Because the gravitational pull of the two big masses that is the Earth and the Sun cancels out. That gives advantage to the observatory or a satellite placed there to move or stay in course with minimal fuel. That's the advantage we have. So that's why we have Aditya L1 being launched by using the launch vehicle known as PSLV, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It was basically made by ISRO to launch heavy satellites and other things which, for which we used to depend on Russia earlier. So uh, another thing to achieve in any way. So this is what we have about Aditya L1. I hope it achieves its purpose and it reaches to the place and observes the sun. Along with this, India becomes a member of elite club having few countries like NASA, US and then China and Japan. We are also there. So let's see how it goes. I hope it gets successful and we all will rejoice it again with another video of completion. With that, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.